So welcome guys, this is the third of the fourth um, video that we'll be talking about and this is really the fun part to be perfectly honest. This is where we talk about inferential statistics. So just to again give you a bit of a recap, we've sort of talked about in the first one, describing the data that you have, trying to understand the sort of key features and in the second one we talked about probabilities and really trying to basically say that that's kind of the tools that you'll kind of need to move into inferential statistics. So why do we need inferential statistics? What's the purpose of it? And the, broadly, the broad answer to that is, well, we're never interested in the sample. We're always interested in the population. That's effectively why it is. Like I said, no one really cares, for example, what the average height of your sample is, but they will care, for example, what the average height of a average Australian is. So, you're going to say, well, cool, but why do I need to know average height? Well, it could be something else, right? It could be weight, it could be your marks, etc. But let's think about, well, what do we, why do we need to do this? What's this for? What purpose is this? Well, let me give you a bit of a scenario. So the scenario is this, okay? Um, so there's an asteroid that's about to hit the Earth and in particular in Australia, and it's going to flatten it and do all sorts of nasty things. So you're actually a designer of a rocket and you are an ergonomics freak. Everything has to be perfect and comfortable for everyone. So obviously every rocket has a door. So you need to then design a door so that people can comfortably get in and out of that rocket. Okay. So for that, you will need to know what at least what the average height would be, isn't it? So how would you then go about resolving this problem? How would you do it? I and mean, one, obviously the most precise way of doing it is to then say, okay, I'm going to sample 25 million people in Australia and find out what the average height is and then use that data to then design that door. But uh, let's be honest, by the time you do that, the Earth is probably being flattened by the asteroid. So we're not going to do that. Okay, so what, so what options are you left with? Well, you're on campus with your friends at UNSW studying statistics. So what do you do? Well, you want to be that superhero. So you're going to basically measure the height of everyone in your tutorial, let's say, and say that, okay, I've worked out that the average height is 170 centimeters. Great, but let's think about this a little bit more. Would you really want to use that 170 centimeters? I mean, there's a lot of questions, right? First question being very simple. Is the students in your tutorial representative of the Australian population, right? I mean, very simple question. Let's think about it. The students in your tutorial are relatively young right? And the average age in that particular tutorial might be only, you know, let's say 19 or 20 years old or something like that. Think about the average age of an Australian. It's probably around 35, 36. So that's one thing to think about, right? So this is where you would then say, okay, maybe probably around 170 centimeters. And the question then becomes, well, well, what do you mean by probability? Probably, is it 170 centimeters plus minus one centimeter plus minus five centimeters? Is it that much or that much? Or is it that much or is it that much? What is it, right? And this is where we then introduce this idea of an interval estimate, right? This idea of a confidence interval. And this is where the probabilities that you've learned, okay, in the previous chapter, chapters, basically comes into play. So another way that you could kind of do this is kind of reverse the role, okay? Where you kind of have kind of said, yes, I've come up with this idea. I know it's 170 centimeters. So I will design it such as 175 centimeters for that door into the rocket that will, that will take us all to Mars. Now, there's a smart student Okay, that says, no, 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 actually, actually, I think you're incorrect. I actually read it somewhere in a newspaper article that the average Australian is actually 180 centimeters. 
And I think that you're making a grave mistake because now people, more people will have to basically hunch down in, and get into that rocket. And because you're such an ergonomics freak, you're thinking, hmm, how do I actually test that? Well, this is where we're here to help. This is where hypothesis testing comes in, right? You can actually test that claim against the data you have and then find out whether actually you actually have evidence to support or reject that hypothesis, okay? So you can then perform the test and then you can say, look, at the 5% level of significance, okay, there is no evidence or there is evidence to reject your hypothesis that the average is 180 centimeters. The overarching theme here, guys, is think about where we're going. We're now moving away from the sample and then describing what the key features of the population actually look like. And this is basically the first part in basically looking at this whole scenario. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that and uh, hopefully this will assist your learning and I'll catch you guys in the next one.